For the first time, we're hearing from the parents of a baby girl who died after being left in a hot car last month in Baker County. Ten-month-old Araya Page died in July. Investigators say her babysitter left her in an SUV. Now that babysitter is facing criminal charges. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar was in Baker County where friends and family held a rally for the baby. That rally is called Justice for Araya. You see dozens of people stationed at the four corners of the intersection of McClenny Avenue and 6th Street. A lot of people holding up different signs with pictures of Araya. And their message is that they say they want justice for Araya, including that same message coming from her parents. <laughs> Baby Araya kissing her mother. This is the last video Brooke and Justice Page have of their only child. She grabbed my shirt and pulled up on me, and I was like, oh my gosh, Araya, I think we're almost to your first steps. She would pull on my chin and the little bit of hair that I have, <laughs> she'd pull on it, and um, she'd always just come up to me, and if I'm asleep, she'd slap me and wake me up, and <laughs> she just, she, she was a daddy's girl. At just 10 months old, Araya died after being left inside this hot SUV for hours last month. According to an arrest report, investigators say her babysitter, Rhonda Jewell, left her strapped in her car seat and then went inside a house where she was also set to watch other kids. The report says Jewell forgot about Araya being inside the car. She is now being charged with negligent manslaughter. Every time you do get into a hot car, just remember that my, that was my daughter in that car for five hours. I just don't want any other babies or any other children to ever experience what Araya did, because it, it hurts. Today, the Pages and dozens of family and friends held this rally in McClenny to highlight Araya's death. Big posters with the baby's face and these phrases indicative of why they're doing this. And I do everything that I can to just to get justice for her. Wake up every day and I tell myself I gotta do this for Araya. As they say, they are pursuing justice. Araya's parents say they plan to hold a similar rally just like this one on Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock that morning. That's one hour before the arraignment, and that time it will be over in front of the Baker County Courthouse. Reporting in McClenny, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.